Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly. Hey, I wanted to share something real quick um, that I kind of discovered uh, this, this afternoon. And I was inspired by the uh, Colonator, which was a device that I saw at WPPI. And basically what it was was a game controller that they programmed to be able to cull photos in Lightroom. Culling meaning that you're picking the photos that you want to edit and then getting rid of the rest of them. Um, and, and I thought it was a great little device and I was excited to use it. Um, or try it out at least, um, but I found out it only works on a Mac, and I, I'm a PC guy. Um, and so I, I basically thought, well, I wonder if there's something out there that I could do that would work on a PC. And so I discovered a little program um, with the help of some friends that uh, it works like a charm. And it literally, to, from download to mapping it um, to using it, it took me maybe 10 minutes. And so basically what it does, guys, is it allows me to um, be take a controller that I had for my Xbox um, and this controller on my Xbox I was able to map it so I can basically tell these buttons to do certain things that I would normally do on my keyboard um, for example I can have a button be my left arrow my right arrow you know my, my pick etc now I also wanted to do this for myself because the colonator works in Lightroom and this one I mapped to work in photo mechanic um, so a couple things you need is you need a controller with a cable that connects via USB to your computer. Um, once you connect it via to your computer, it should automatically install the driver so you can start using it. Um, then what I did is I went to the internet, the good old World Wide Web, and I searched for the program Joy2Key, and that's Joy2T-O-Key. When you click on it, there's a right up in the top right corner, there's a place that says download Joy to Key. It's basically just a guy that developed a program to allow you to map whatever joystick um, to different buttons on your keyboard. Um, so you want to download that. Um, once you download it, you open it up, and it looks like this. It's very, very simple. It just, um, you can create a map. So I created a map, and I'm saying, hey, every time I use Photo Mechanic, I'm going to click on this map, and I'm going to start using this. So you got to run the program, basically saying, hey, I'm, I'm ready to use it. Um, and then you'll see right here, I have it mapped to, you know, arrow up, arrow down, um, and then T for tagged, meaning I'm going to check mark the photo, I want to keep it, Z for zooming in, and that's it. I mean, there's nothing more that I really use Photo Mechanic for besides just going through my photos quickly and tagging the ones I want to keep. Um, Lightroom, now some people might say, well, why not use Lightroom for that? And the reason is because Photo Mechanic just goes so much quicker. So... Um, Lightroom, you got to wait for it to load, etc. Photo Mechanic, just click right through the photos. So the way you can figure out which buttons it goes to um, is I just chose one button at a time and made it my arrow down. Sorry, I don't know why this keeps popping up, but uh, made it my arrow down button, and I would just come over the joystick and I would press you know certain buttons and see which one went arrow down, and then I would just go, okay, that's button one, that's button two. So that was the way I figured it out. Um, you know, it's not that hard, guys. So I'm sure you can get it. But so I'm going to go to Photo Mechanic and just show you how I use this. Um, I Like I said, all I have is arrow down, arrow up, and tagging or zooming. That's it. Um, and really, the zoom I very little, I mean, very rarely even use. So I have it so my arrow down is my X. See right here? So when I press X, I'm arrowing through. My Y is my arrow up. And then my A is my tag. So if I see a photo I like, I press A. And you'll see on the uh, panel over here on the left-hand side, um, you'll see it has a little check mark next to the photo. So if I just kind of go through the pictures, you can see I'm doing this literally with one hand. I just, oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. And, and I find that it's actually more responsive than my keyboard was. Um, my keyboard seemed to hang up sometimes. I don't know why. Um, it's not, I mean, it's a wired keyboard. Um, it's not Bluetooth or anything, so I have no idea why it was doing it, but sometimes it would hang up for a second or two. Um, I find the joystick is very responsive. Now, the cool part about this, guys, is I was literally... Um, today my little boy came and he kind of wants some cuddling, so he's sitting in my chair with me. And I was holding him with my one arm while I was still culling with my right. I mean, literally, I didn't have to have a keyboard sitting across us. I was able to just sit there and cull with my one hand um, and pick the photos that I liked. Now, let's say I don't want to have to use the one hand. I want to be able to use both hands. I also set these buttons right here, my start and select buttons on the controller, as arrow down and arrow up. So I literally can press those ones as well if I want and, and go through. Now if I tag a photo and I said, oh, I don't like that photo after all, I just press A again and it goes away. But just to kind of give you an idea, let's just go through some of these real quick here. And you can see how quickly I can just 
pick out some photos that really stand out. Um, you know, and just kind of go through, boom. And like I said, I found that it was much more responsive than even my keyboard was. So that's what I've been using. It was free. It was an old controller sitting around. It's not even a fancy controller. It's a, you know, it's a probably a $15 controller or something like that. Um, easy, and it's set up in, in, in nearly minutes. So have fun. Hopefully it works for you uh, as well as this has for me. I know I'm loving it. Take care, guys.